Frank D. Hammond Indiana his widely read book, Overcoming Rejection, suggests that rejection results from the denial of love. When one is loved, he is approved and accepted, when one is rejected he is disapproved and refused. The hurts of rejection are synonymous with refusal, denial, turn down, rebuff, repellent, cold shoulder, slighting, shunning, spurning, ignoring, neglecting, avoiding and disapproving. Human beings suffer rejection the most during childhood and adolescence. We have all grown up as part of a community, and the most loving and protective parents could never have shielded us from suffering rejection from our various communities. This community may be immediate relatives, play school, kindergarten, grade school, high school, university, working environment and ultimately in a marriage relationship. It seems like most insecure people have a need to beat down somebody else in order for them to rise up in their own estimation. The two cases cited above go to prove that Cinderella will suffer rejection right in the same dining hall as the hunchback of Notre Dame. So long as spite, envy, jealousy, hatred and sheer self-centered continue to be human traits, then rejection is here to stay. Show me one person who has never had any of these undesirable human traits portrayed against them at any one time, and I will show you one person who is out of touch with what is going on around them. Those among the human race who have received the most love and acceptance in infancy and early childhood, are the ones most able to withstand the ugly onslaught of this unsympathetic world. Rejection almost always comes with pain and a loss of self-worth, and a natural response to pain is to recoil. This is a mechanism for self-preservation. As a result, people who have suffered severe rejection build emotional walls to protect themselves. Who can they trust? Will they be hurt again by those who have causes them to suffer? Often in order to protect themselves, they begin to suspect the intentions of others, and a distrust of their motives. As this paranoia grows, they eventually convince themselves that everybody is plotting against them and anything you tell them gets a sharp retort. Because we will be rejected at one time or other, we need to build positive shock absorbers. We need to accept and love ourselves first before seeking the acceptance and love of others. Each one of us needs a healthy portion of self-worth. We need to develop our talents and our hobbies. Seek to do what we enjoy doing. Then we need to take a good look in the mirror and determine to love the person we see. Accept the things that cannot be changed like height and facial features. People notice when we do not like ourselves, and join that club. Be your best cheerleader. God has created us all as unique individuals. Let us celebrate our individuality. However the greatest acceptance that any human being can ever experience is the acceptance that we receive from God. In the book of Psalms 139, God tells us that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. The New Testament further tells us that God loved us so much that he gave his son to die for us. What a wonderful message.